The Asiqueba course has been a giant in the realm of rice farming since the 19th century. At the turn of the 21st century, however, this rice-producing coastline has created employment by opening new markets for something different, a new industry worth millions driven by women. The Pomeroon Women's Agro-Processors Association has been making a mark on the agro-processed food industry in Guyana for over a decade. These Pomeroon women are producing huge appetizing flavors. Their products range from seasonings to preserved fruits. Included in the blend are green and brown mixed seasonings, green mango achar and spicy pepper sauce, a must to add to your dining experience. And for a bit of Christmas delight, Carambola, the five-finger fruit, is preserved and packaged in an airtight container. These Pomeroon women are also engaged in other healthier pursuits. In the past, they have exported their prize-winning virgin coconut oil to North America. Come join us on a journey to the Essequibo Coast to find out the secret to their success. A group of 14 unemployed housewives, in an effort to reduce the wastage of the carambola five-finger fruit within their farming community, decided to enter the agro-processing business. Women who are housewives are not having their means of income, so we decided that they can be trained and earn their own money apart from whatever their husband have to offer, where we could add value to our farm produce. We were told that we must have what we call a working capital. We must have some money to start. Each member invested $20,000 and within six months, the group had their investment capital. Although an abandoned cassava factory was donated for the group's use, it was uninhabitable until 2007. As a result, the group had begun their small-scale flexible business in a member's home. to the factory to work because personally I thought that it would have been something very easy because most of us ladies we are accustomed to make our carambola fruit at home so I thought that it would have been something easy like that you just come and you get your bar barrels and pockets or whatever and, and, uh, and it was a no-no for us. Innovation is vital. The main product was carambola and so we realized that instead of just grinding it and having it like, let us soak it. Let us do the preparation for the housewives. Oh. And so we went into soaking the fruit. We started to buy wine and then we found that that was a bit costly and we said, man, look, we could make our own wine. And we are one of the best winemakers that we have in Guyana. After making the carbola, we finish boiling it and straining it, straining it off. There is a, a lot of liquid left back there, a nice, Brown liquid, very tasty. And we decided now, started to add flavoring to that sauce. And we started to make a brown sauce. Vision is needed. At one time when we were doing some carambola, Vilma had a lot of pepper. I, something went into her thoughts that she could plant some pepper. As a business person, you're always thinking about what more you can add to your business. So she had this whole set of pepper and she had any market for this pepper and she was the person who tried to influence us to, to do the pepper and that is how we started and then we went into achar making using green mangoes. Last but not least, Pomeroon Delights Virgin Coconut Oil. Where the coconut oil was a challenge shown to us from who invested in job this silver. <coughs> and an individual went into him who was interested in some virgin coconut oil. He couldn't give her an answer to say well this person, that person, but he told her he could give her the name of a group of women who she can contact. She contacted us and <laughs> Rachel we knew nothing about what she was talking about, but she told us how we can get about doing it probably went for it. We took on the challenge because we had a silver dryer which we used to dry our food. So we, we said we're going to borrow it for a two weeks to see if we can produce this oil. And that is how we started. When she came, she looked at the oil, she said, yes, this is what she wanted. 
In 2011, Pomeroon Delight's Virgin Coconut Oil placed first at the regional contest for rural innovative projects and caught the prize of 5,000 US dollars to continue production. We're, our group represented Guyana, so it was a, a, a big plus for us and, and we made the news and at least that kind of motivated the women also. The group's Virgin Coconut Oil was identified as the best project that promoted rural enterprise and innovation at the grassroots level with the potential of replication and expansion at the regional level. I think we have prime products because over the years that we were selling, the market has increased because persons tasted our product and I think we maintain our quality. These women have been utilizing the support from state, donor and voluntary agencies to learn best practices in the production of agro-processed foods. Through Ministry of Agriculture, like we have the regional and the community united for development, similarly. And they assisted us, they gave, they, they're the ones who bought that building for us. And they gave us a manager to manage um, prep production for, I think it was six months. And I think we got some bottles from them as a sort of encouragement. And this had a larger role to play with us. They were the two persons like us, you know, you hold a small child, mm -hmm. two big people in the corner, mm -hmm. and we felt that confidence from them. And people sent one Mrs. Warner, Vashti Warner, to demonstrate to the ladies how we can prepare our own wine. And I think around the same time, a wine specialist from Canada was here. Yes, Mr. Luca came in through Partners of the America, he came in too. And so we had two sets of courses training. that were training us how to make wine. Some friends visited the organization a day, and I was here, and one of the ladies asked, she said, did you all have anybody coming from Vierson to work with you? And I said, no. Would you like to have somebody? I said, sure. She said, I'm going to recommend somebody to come here. And Gary Chow came. And Gary will work with us in developing labels, especially the pepper labels. Kuso VSO volunteers have also introduced the women to the cold calling technique, where they approach retailers who were not expecting it directly with their product samples. And then we had Ash for the long haul. When Ash came here, we actually didn't have an up to date record thing with our books. And Ash taught us how we can. It's done on a regular basis, having a weekly analysis and production of everything that we had, and taught three of our ladies to manage the books, finances, and so forth. Um, preparing a financial report, all of that he assisted in. So by the end of his time, he did it, he even did a little training with the computer. And um, after he left, we have them now managing the books. So we used to rotate it at one time with the two different ladies who were trained. But now we have assigned them directly to handle. But when I was asked to do the books, I tell myself to come do it. And you feel comfortable? I'm happy with it. We benefited um, tremendously. Women are now employed. They can earn at the end of the month every member because we move from voluntary. We work voluntary for like four years before we actually start paying because in an organization you would always find some teething problem in terms of who working more than who. So we decide that who willing to come out to work would be paid. The Pomeroon women have also benefited from several study tours across Ghana and to neighboring Suriname through the Women's Agroprocessors Development Network, WAGNET, and the Making Markets Work project funded by Accenture. The WAGNET is an umbrella organization that was formed by CUSO VSO in 2011 by bringing together six existing women's agroprocessing groups. Seeing is believing and I think that was a big plus for us because in other factory production areas whereby we can see how things are being done at an advanced level and make that um, comparison to where we are and how we can go a bit higher. Confidence is key. 
Um, I can recall Miss Miss said at one time, it was difficult to get the ladies to go, to leave home, to go out, to buy a sport, to um, road sale, to whatever. When, when we went out for the first time to sell on the road, I had to go, well, I cost them to talk and being an old teacher, school teacher, right? So I decided, them girls say, how they go, they can't go to sell and this and that, they miss this and they can't go. So I went, I was on the first trip, Ash went with us, and so when I came back, yeah, you know, it, 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 it raises your self-esteem and your confidence. They're not shy and they would talk. When they, when they go to the expo, horses come to buy or, or find out something about the product, all of the girls, any one of them would talk. They're not saying, my you talk, but this one talk. You know, everybody, 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 everybody wants to be in front of the camera. They need to speak up now. Because I don't be afraid, right, to speak over But what, what the lady says and is right, I go with it. I can tell you, I have benefited tremendously my my personal self all, all away from the women's group. I, I also started my own little business, which we were only selling raw material off the farm, but now we're adding value to everything. Quality is a must. Life has definitely changed. I am more relaxed now. I now help other persons too, to tell them, well, you know, if you want to be in agriculture, you must add value, but you have to be committed and dedicated and persons have to trust your quality and you produce quality you hold the market you don't have to look for the market the market looks for you motivation is needed I can recall in 2010 after I was elected as a chairperson I didn't feel confident about being a chair but thanks to Ash from the again Ash sat with me and to me he said Rose you have the ability. You can do it. I know you can do it and you know that within yourself you can do it. So there I was, being a chairperson and if I could speak but from the encouragement to Mash and he always gives a positive advice when asked. I stayed on. When I start, um, we had some issues in, um, around September 2010. I told Ash, I said, Ash, I am quitting. He said, no, you're not to quit. You're not supposed to be afraid of anybody. The only thing you're supposed to be afraid of is yourself, and that is what is happening to you. He said, put that away. Be confident. I listened to him again, took his advice, and uh, um, as I mentioned the last time here I am today, I can even speak to the president, and I'm no longer afraid. I rather, I rather face issues with a positive outlook. I mean, everybody might not be agreeable with what you might say or what you might do, but as long as it is something that's going to benefit the association, I look forward to continue working in that sense. And I must say how grateful I am to Eden Palm, who um, through her advice and in different ways whenever I need some advice I normally call her and quickly she say Rose, this is it, that is it, do this, do that. Uh, you know like not I have been making the decisions for you but then helping you. Pointing right. Yes, pointing you in the right direction. So at least we have about four more members. If we have twenty, we we have enough members that we can assign. You assign here, you assign there, you know, you no longer have to look who are we gonna put? And another thing too, we're looking to start buying, not a, not a small quantity, so buying large, doing some large production. So okay. as long as we, we have the money, we can buy large, so when, as soon as we locate the markets, we distribute. And um, another plan that we always had, and it's, a, it's a dream, but I, I know that one is going to materialize if we owning our own transportation. And um, as long as we produce, Yes, we can achieve that. In the books of the Pomeroon Women's Agro-Processors Association, success is just another word for hard work. Hard work, commitment, and dedication. You must have that, um, that positive attitude that this can work, and whatever training and knowledge you get, apply it. Just don't just put it in the folder, the way it is presented to you, and put it on the table wherever or in a corner. Use it and your lives can be changed.